my name is kushal modi and uh, today i'll be talking about uh, deep learning for human activity re uh, recognition in which uh, our main focus is on uh, human activity recognition using variable sensors and this is for my class cmp258 as san jose state university so let's uh, begin with it so um okay so here is an abstract idea of what uh, is uh, like uh, how can we recognize human activity uh, wearing uh, uh, human sensors and the concepts of deep learning and uh, using its methodologies so recognizing human activity is important for human interaction applications like in healthcare personal fitness smart gadgets for and for smart gadgets to improve uh, many pe many people have discussed various techniques for representing human activity that resulted in discernible progress uh, the article that we are uh, trying to discuss today is pro is providing a comprehensive assessment of contemporary high high performance approaches for recognition human movement using variable sensors. So, in other words, it is like uh, how can we uh, recognize human actions, basically standing, walking, sitting, any kind of activity using variable sensors on their body. Uh, other than that, uh, there are various uh, applied, uh, we'll also look to uh, the state of the art applied evaluation benchmarks uh, techniques that are there uh, on the data sets such as like ML, USC, USCH, UTD, MH, MHAD, Wisdom, WAF and Opportunity due to a lack of standardized evaluation and to assess and ensure a fair comparison between the state of the art techniques. So, uh, what is basically now? All you might be having a question that what is you, uh, human activity recognition doing, and what uh, are the what is the thing that it will do, and what it is trying to achieve? So, it is a difficult topic aimed at predicting human motions via computer interaction. It improves people's life through a variety of uses, like for example, uh, human activity de de detection uh, uh, can. Mostly it can be divided into two categories. That is one is video image based recognition and another is variable sensors based recognition. The camera uh, in the first part, uh, video image based recognition, the camera is used to recognize human activities in video system. This uh, technique not only necessitates costly camera infrastructure deployments, uh, but it also faces several issues in terms of backdrop illumination and scale, all of which it would make motion detection problematic. So the first technique Technique that is there, it is not very much successful. Uh, uh, so we are going to talk about the alternative way, which have, has shown much more uh, uh, better results in the human activity detection, which is um, making uh, humans wear uh, sens sensors that are variable, such as barometers, accelerometers, gyrometers, anything, uh, etc., and uh, that translates their motion into identifiable signals in the second technique in the technique that uh, about the variable sensors. Um, and uh, here are some of the state of the art techniques that are made. Uh, there are basically four main techniques handcrafted methods, CNN based methods, LSTM CNN methods, and CNN LSTM methods. Uh, LSTM stands for long short uh, term memory, and uh, CNN is convolution neural network. So in like uh, let's see the first method that is handcrafted method. In this, uh, instead of applying deep learning or traditional machine learning approaches used, the wisdom data set was used by Quapips, uh, one of the great uh, uh, research scientists and uh, whom he wrote, like who wrote a research paper from what he found out, uh, ret retrieved the characteristics per sensor reading. To find out best classifier, the scientist looks at three options, multi-layer perceptron, J48 and logistic regression. ML, uh, the multi-layered perceptron outperformed the other classifiers with a score of 91.7% accuracy. Similarly, in CNN-based methods, Ha and Choi, two great scientists, introduced two CNN models, CNN-PF and CNN-PFF. Uh, both of its accuracy is mentioned here, like with 91.33 and 91.48, while Bruins and Burn, uh, Br Burns and Wine developed two alternate methods, the FCN and the PTN, with... Uh, uh, and they got really great results. The PTN has greatest outcome was on M Health data set with 99.9% .9 accuracy, plus or minus 0.03%. Uh, with uh, while uh, and spare and on spare with 99% accuracy. 
similarly we are talking about cnn and lstm models a uh, little brief about that uh, so here is the checklist of supported temporal window generation techniques for data set so in the data set that works uh, m health usc hd utd1 utd2 waf wisdom and opportunity are mentioned in which uh, the like uh, every modi supports most of them the only uh, like opportunity does not support full non overlapping window and leave one trial out method uh so this is about our aim and data that what are we trying to achieve and what data that we are having so the aim is like object sensors or body one sensors hybrid sensors along are the four main categories of sensor based data set for the article experiments are conducted on this data on the following data sets like m health us uh, chd utd mhd wisdom waf and opportunity raw data must be processed into identify samples before being fed into the model data is separated into equal sized tiny windows and also known as temporal windows throughout this creation procedure the data sets for train and tests are then separated from temporal frames and temporal windows may be experience overlapping in the part of windows resulting in a non biased judgment so there are this three methods that were uh, that has been used that is like full non overlapping window method uh, semi non overlapping window method and leave one trial out method let's see the first method is a like a full non overlapping window and it is a general uh, generating approach that ensures that no temporal windows overlap the second method uh, is an alternative to the first method for sample uh, for sample production uh, unlike the first technique this method generates a large number uh, of samples however because of overlapping content is uh, content in training and testing the results will be skewed and the last technique reflects a sig single subject's raw activity signal uh, it ensures unbiased evaluation and proper sample size creation so the trials with the same raw signals are not replicated in training and testing data sets in the generation approach so and uh, here is the method that has been used or proposed in the article uh, that we are uh, talking about the design proposed consists of three thick layers followed by a softmax softmax of the number of activity categories in the data set softmax is an activation function here uh, that is going to be used in the uh, three like uh, three thick layers means there is there are three hidden layers in the design for the model they are trying to build a neural network uh, uh, the design that is made up is a completely linked layer uh, linked layer with a size of 120h they are taking a batch of 128 another fully connected layer with a size of 64 and then at finally the 32 so it is in the decreasing pad, uh, pattern like the first layer is of 128 uh, nodes then the other one is 64 and finally the third hidden layer is 32 nodes uh, as an optimizer they are using adam optimizer with a batch of 16 and leaky relu as an activation function uh, each simple window in the data set is used to compute the 12 features that are given in the data set and then using the collected features as input our lightweight neural network trains the it is like uh, the features that are uh, there are given as at fed the fed to the model as an input and on that the neural network is being trained after it uh, learns the hidden characteristics and improve its ways to get a greater recognition accuracy than the other other traditional machine learning algorithms in comparison to this ex existing strategies our suggested hybrid strategy is stable and lightweight so this met uh, this article is proposing a method that is a uh, challenging state of the arts and showing results which is be even better than the current state of the art methodologies so here is the result that they are achieving on the basis on the different data sets that are being proposed so they have proposed the two methods approach v1 and approach v2 so on m health they achieved 100% accuracy on both the methods on usc hd they on on the version of v1 method they uh, got 89.72 and in v2 60.90.38 in utd162.13 and like so on as you can see for the, all the updates um so it is like giving out way uh, better than the state of the art methodologies that is there uh, for the conclusion part uh, like a detailed sorry a detailed literature overview of contemporary high performing techniques in human activity added Identification using variable sensor is covered in this particular paper and article that we have taken up. 
uh the recent approaches are applied and reevaluated utilizing our standardized benchmark using three data sample generation strategies to follow the same experimental setting for a fair assessment due to lack of non standardized evaluation so they are saying that uh, like because of uh, lack of uh, standardized evaluation uh, there is this uh, they have uh, gone through the same method and pattern that is being used to uh, evaluate all the uh, state of the art methodologies as well in the uh, past so and upon that like six open source data sets were used in our investigation for human activity recognition uh, mixed experimental technique is presented and uh, they are using like state of the art tech and comparing their outcome with the state of the art methodologies and their uh, proposed model is performing outperform the state of the art techniques that are there now for future issue, researchers should look at the influence of data set with low sample rates and large activity numbers such as waf and wisdom more features should be added to our feature extraction technique and uh, the neural network approach should be hyper tuned for better identification of human behavior that is that uh, that they are proposing for the future research uh, and uh, yeah so that's basically conclude the topic that we are having um, thank you so much i hope uh, it was really informative and uh, you might be having a insight of what the uh, we are trying to do as uh, uh, and deep uh, by the use of deep learning in recognizing human activity yeah thank you